Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. Now I'm just going to be deep diving into any business object related report and I'm going to be teaching you one very, very important concept called as related business objects, because this is very important for you to understand reportings and also related instances. I didn't want to get into that in the previous sessions because I introduced you single and 30 instance, and then I thought I will go into reporting introductions, and then I will come back over here what is called as related business objects. Now let me just introduce what exactly is a foreign key, and whatever you see in a foreign key is exactly what a related business object is going to be. Now, as you all know, Worker is a business object, which is going to contain all the worker-relevant information and fields which is already available over here. Now let me pick a specific field from here, which is position, and this position field in my worker business object is going to contain details about the worker's position information. Are you guys with me? What this particular position field in my worker is going to contain is the position information of my worker. Are you guys with me there? Are you guys clear on this? What exactly is meant by this position field? Guys, are you with me? Any questions here? See in this particular business object called as worker. The purpose of this position field is it is going to link or it is going to contain the worker's primary position in my organization. Clear. The purpose of this particular field. In my worker business object, or in a very, very simple terminology, in the worker table, the position column or position field is going to contain the worker's primary position in the organization. It is going to contain the position details. Now what if I want to view the position's information? Remember, in one of the reports, I think it was Nashant's report, we saw that once I click on the position, it navigated across to my position details. It navigated to my position details, which means let me just run this report definition and I will show you that. So this particular position, this is the worker's position information. But if I want to view the position level information, it will navigate me to the position master information maintained in the position table for this particular business object, which is position business object. All of this information about the position. It could be location, it could be position, anything. But this information is not maintained in the worker master data, but it is maintained in the position master data. And what is the linkage between a worker master data and the position master data is this particular field. This particular field is the primary linkage between my worker master data and my position master data which means this is the common field between my worker information and my position master information. I am going to have one person linked to that specific position, and this data is maintained in my worker information and my worker information. 
All right, and the position master data is also going to contain all the position level master information. Clear on this and this particular field. We call it as a foreign key or a foreign key relationship, which is common in any database terminology, even in workday terminologies. We call it as a linked or a related field. We call this field as a related field over here. Clear on this related field is the terminology that we use in Workday related field between two different business objects. So I put in over here worker business object. I am just picking this position and now when I go to my related business objects, we have two sections over here. So let's just first look only at links to related business object and if I am going to pick something like position over here, I hit position which is going to be the position business object. Alright, so we know that worker is a business object and we have position as another business object and the number of links indicates the number of common fields between my worker business object and my position business object. And if I click on this 33, it is going to give all the fields which are common between my worker business object and my position business object, between my worker business object and my position business object. Which are the common fields which are available? Which are the common fields that are available is listed over here. And the most important thing that I might choose is always going to be the worker's primary position. Guys, are you with me? You understand what it is actually. So what exactly do you mean by a linked field or a related business object, and how to get this information? View business object report or business object details report. Or there is another way also, which I have taught you, which is go to question mark. And then in your prefix, find out what is the business object. The prefix is going to be B. All right. So what I would rather go is B. O. Colon worker. Simple. Simple here. All right. I just put it like B. O underscore worker, and I'm going to get my worker business object and, as much as possible, start using prefixes. Start using prefixes as much as possible, so that you're going to save a lot of time. It's just like a shortcut for you and you don't traverse through so much of stuff. So much of task, painstaking stuff. It's easy for you to navigate directly to the business object. It's just going to be very, very simple. All right. Clear on this and clear on what exactly link to a business object is going to be clear on that. Any questions? Any other questions, if I can just move on to the next one, links from, so now we saw from worker business object. What is the linkage to my position? Business object. All right. So, if you want, I'll open another one. For you to understand that as well, let me open location so that we'll have one more example. So I have position, and I'm also having location, business object. So from my worker, I have 33 linkages to my position. The primary one is going to be the position ID, and then for my location. 
I'm going to have 42 linkages. The primary linkage is going to be my location ID of the primary location or the primary position's location. So, similarly, from my worker business object I can link to so many other business objects, and this is what that linkage is going to give me. And now, what could be the links from related business objects? What could be that? What could be that we saw from worker to location or position, whatever is the linkage? So what exactly could be the reverse of that? What could be like links from related business object? What could be the definition for that? All right. See here now from my position, what exactly could be the linkage from my position to my worker business object? Say I have a position open. I'm just opening up sample random position right now in that particular position. I could have some linkage, which is there to my incumbent persons as well. Who's the incumbent person? Who's working in that position? If I have created such a linkage, then it will be there. Otherwise, it is going to be zero, like what you see over here. When you tried this particular contingent worker report. Between a contingent worker report and my worker report, the linkage that is possible is only a manager or the manager for that particular contingent worker. Because that manager is also a single instance field. And again that manager could also be another worker in my organization. That is why you have that particular linkage. So in your report, you can only display information specific to my manager if you have chosen your primary business object as contingent worker. All right. Say, if I want to link my contingent worker to my worker business object in my report, the only link field is going to be manager. Because manager himself is going to be part of another worker business object, and I'm going to be getting details about that particular manager. Worker data. That's what happens over there. What exactly is happening in my links to related business object and links from related business object? Clear on this. Any other questions? And now, if I want, I can actually say the reverse as well. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.